Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Running on the right track. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I am just going to be doing a chit chat day in the life type video for this channel. Because I am so far behind on editing, um, I am trying, I'm doing an OMAD today. I do. OMADs at least twice a week. I usually do them on Mondays and Fridays just so I can try to stay on track. But today I just had a little bit of coffee. I'm just finishing it up. It's just um, plain black coffee with just maybe a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream in there so it's not really that bad it's 217 so i've been drinking on this coffee i've heated it up quite a few times so i've had this coffee since about 9 30 10 o'clock this morning and i've just been sipping on it throughout the day um but like i said i'm going to do a omad today um and I've got a pork tenderloin on in the slow cooker. I've got, it's just a plain tenderloin. It's um, a honey mustard tenderloin. I don't have honey that often on keto because it's not keto friendly. Um, it's been about five months since I've had any honey. So I figured I would treat myself today and have a honey mustard pork tenderloin um, with some steamed vegetables and a salad. So it's not bad in a sense, but I just figured I would treat myself today. I've got that on in the slow cooker and it's got a few more hours to go and today I am just finishing up my uh, cleaning video which is going to go live today on Monday this was supposed to go up on Friday this past Friday but I downloaded a new editing software and it's called what is it called Hit Film Express. This was recommended to me by a subscriber. And I figured I would download it and give it a try. They said that they liked it. It worked really well. And it has been nothing but problems for me since I downloaded it. I don't know if I downloaded the wrong one or what. But it has given me all the feels. I uploaded all of my files um, all of my uh, files for my cleaning video that was supposed to go up on Friday to this new editing software and I edited it and got everything going but the problem was is the video and the audio are not linked to are, they're not synced together so the video is so much slower than the audio so I don't know how to fix that on this so I'm still playing around with it because the setup is so different I've got to go in and find stuff but um, like I said I've got to go in and figure out where everything is and the audio and the video are not syncing together and I went in got it all edited and now all of the audio is showing is there but it's not there it's not playing you can't hear it and it's just been giving me the feels you guys I don't know what's going on I've got all of my stuff in there. I had to switch over to my other 
um, video editor to get it re-edited and downloaded so I can get that up to YouTube and get that live because I don't want to be any more behind than I am now. So that's what I'm doing now. If the light keeps changing, that's what I'm doing is working on this video for you guys on my cleaning channel, which I don't know you guys. I'm not too sure about this new editing software. Um, I have been uh, fighting with this thing since Friday. Um, but anyways, I don't want to sit here and complain about this during the whole entire video. But I just wanted to let you know why I've only got one video up last week. It's because of this. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave what I've got on there and then just play around with it and see what I did wrong, what I'm not doing right, what I forgot. Maybe I clicked on something and that's why it's all messed up. I'm not sure, but I've got this one going up live today. It is... Monday the 21st and it's going to go up just as soon as I get done with it so I don't know I don't know you guys anyways enough of that I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know what was going on oh also Another reason why I was late is because I broke my tripod. Um, I was filming the cleaning video that was that's going up live today. And I don't know what happened. It just fell over. My camera is broke. Um, it still films. I'm, obviously, I'm filming on it now. But it's... When you go to... Um, focus it gets locked so I'm guessing something in there's broke but as long as it's working I can deal with it but my tripod is done my tripod's done um maybe I can get it fixed but I am going to try to fix it maybe I can super glue it back together I'm not sure and I don't know if you can hear that, but we have a guy, I'm assuming it's a guy, we have someone in a plane, like a personal plane, that is flying across the water in front of our house. And I don't know what he's doing, you guys, but I'm scared for him. I don't know if he's training or not, but... What he's doing is he will go, he's flying over the water, and he will go way up in the sky, cut his engine, and then spiral down, and then cut his engine on, and then level it out. And I sat out there for hours yesterday watching him or her, and maybe he's training I'm not sure, but we've got our boat ready just in case he crashes. A little FY, uh, FYI, but I'm scared. I'm scared for him, you guys. I don't know what he's doing out there, but we've got our boat ready to be put in the water just in case if he does, like if the motor does not cut back on, I, we know like when he tries to level it out, he will cut the motor back on. So, I'm just praying that he stays safe, or her, stays safe while they are doing what they're doing out there. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd just let you know if, if you hear the airplane cut on and off, that's what they're doing out there. Um, 
but for now I'm just going to sit here and do a little editing well I've already finished editing but I've got to do the description and everything for my video and get that going and then I'm just going to play around with this other editing software and see what I can figure out um, I think that's all that I'm going to do now it's just me here today so it's pretty quiet I've got um, the TVs and everything off because if I'm if I'm working at the computer I leave everything off like the TV I don't have any background noise so that way I can um, focus on what I'm doing and I don't sit very long I will get up and do stuff while I'm editing because I don't like to stay stationary for too long um, just because this computer chair hurts my back and I don't like sitting in it for too long I'll get up and I will stretch um, clean um, I might ride on the bike in the other room. It just depends on what I'm doing that day. Or what I feel like doing that day. But today I've already finished editing. It didn't take me long to edit. It took me lo longer to export and download than anything. It only took me maybe two hours to edit this video because it's not very long it's like 20 minutes long but I've got that done and I've got that uploading to YouTube now and then I've just got to do the description and tags and everything and then I'll have that posted but right now I'm just going to write down my URL for this channel so that way I can link it if I need to um, let's see. I like to write down all of the links to my video. When you upload it to YouTube, it gives you a link. Um, so you can use that link for, you know, whatever. If you want to share it on your social media or whatever, you can do that. So I just have a book here that I write down all of my links for my cleaning videos. I've also got another folder for this channel so I can write down all of the links for this channel just in case I want to share them on social media or in the description box I can link to another video or I can do it in the iCards that you see. It's like a little white circle with an I in the middle. It should be up here if I ever link one. Um, I just like to have it on hand for that. Um, so yeah, I like doing that. But I'm just going to finish this up and yeah, we'll do that real quick. And then we will head into the to the kitchen and see what's going on in there with the dinner I don't I'm trying to hold off on an OMAD because like I said I do one every Monday and Friday just to stay on track but I do want to show you what the tenderloin looks like um, I might just wait and show you after it's done but I'm not sure yet. I do want to finish this up real quick. I know this video is a little everywhere, but I'm just trying to get back on track and get everything done. So that way I won't be too far behind this week. So I'm just going to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Have you ever are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
Okay, you guys, I've just now got my post to go live. It's on my cleaning channel. I will leave the name of it right here. If you're interested, you can just hop on that uh, link down below and go check that out. I'll leave that uh, link in the description box. But now, I am in the kitchen and I'm going to show you what the pork roast or pork, pork loin looks like. Sorry, you guys, I can't talk today. It is so gloomy outside today. It's supposed to rain, um, but I'm just going to show you what the pork uh, loin looks like. This is what it looks like. It's just got a quarter cup of honey, about a quarter cup of uh, glue, uh, spicy brown mustard, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, and that's all. I just put it in the crock pot and turned it on high. Uh oh, sorry, it's steaming up, but that's what it looks like. I did not put any juice or liquid in here as far as broth or water goes because the pork loin will produce its own um, liquid. So just dump all of your ingredients in there on top of your pork and just pop the lid on. I've got it set to high. I'm going to let this cook on high for four hours and then I'm going to turn it down on low. And then I'm just going to let it cook on low until we get ready to eat it. So that's that. I don't know what exactly we're going to have with it, but I will show you guys um, later what we put with it. But I know my window is dirty. I can't get in between there to clean all of that off because these windows. But it is so gloomy outside. And a plus, it's raining. I'll take you out on the back porch and let you see. This is just a barrel of stuff that my husband has accumulated. It's just going to go off to, um, um, it's going to go off in the trash pickup. But this is our backyard. It's just a little bitty fenced in backyard so that way our little pup doesn't get out in the road. It's raining right now. I know you guys can hear that. But yeah, it's just been a gloomy day altogether. So that's why. We're just going to stay in the house today. My daughter should be getting home in about 20 minutes. Um, it is now uh, 321. She should be here about 340. Um, so hopefully she'll be here about 340, depending on the weather. Anyways, it's... I'm still going strong on the OMAD. I've only had the coffee this morning. Um, I'm fixing to make me some ice water and I'm just going to sip on that until dinner. Um, if you guys are interested in doing an OMAD, what I would suggest you do is start off slow. You want to introduce fasting after you start your keto. So I would start keto first and I would stay on keto for about two to three months um, roughly before you start doing intermittent fasting. And then after you get intermittent fasting going, I would recommend doing, um, that slow. I would do, you know, if your body is used to eating at a certain period, I would push that in 30, uh, 30 minute increments until you get to where you want to be. Um, I did that over a course of two weeks, and then I stopped at 16-8. That's 16 hours fasted, 8 hours eating, uh, eating window. 
Um, and that has worked out really well for me. So, say for instance, you get up and you start eating right off the bat in the morning time, say eight o'clock. Um, on your first day, I would recommend doing what you normally do. The second day, I would recommend pushing your time from 8 o'clock to 8.30 and then work it up until you get um, yourself eating at either between 12 or 1 o'clock that day. So that would make you a 16.8 or a 17.7 fast. Um, because that works out really well for people. After you get your um, fasting period set, that's when I would start pushing it an hour. Um, I would go, I would start at 16 hours and then I would push it to 17 hours and 18 hours until you get to your OMAD day. And I would do an OMAD day at least once a week. Um, just to help your body recuperate. I do two OMADs a week. I do one on Mondays and Fridays. So that way, um, on Mondays, I prep my body for the, uh, the week. And then on Fridays, I uh, prep my body for the weekend just in case I have a cheat meal, which I, excuse me, I don't normally have a cheat meal um, as far as takeout or you know like really fatty foods and like carby foods I don't really do that too much or all that often to be honest um, I've only had one cheat meal in five months and that was two months ago I usually stay pretty good on my carbs and everything so that's what I would recommend you do and when you do an OMAD I would drink water for the entire day. You can have teas with no sugar or anything like that, or you can have coffees with no sugar, um, like a sugar substitute like stevia or monk fruit or anything like that. Some people do. It just depends on how you feel about it. Um, as for me, um, if I do it, when I do an OMAD, I will have coffee in the morning with just a teaspoon of um, heavy whipping cream in there and then I will sip on that for hours say if I get up at six o'clock I will probably normally have my coffee between eight and ten so um, I will make that and then I will sip on that until one two o'clock in the afternoon and I will reheat it often because you know when you sip on it it gets it gets cold so you have to reheat it so I do that and then I will drink water for the rest of the day until I get to my meal time and then I will just eat um, all of uh, my calories and fats and carbs and protein all in one meal um, So, you will be in a calorie deficit, a more of a calorie deficit when you do an OMAD, unless you stock up on your fats, which I do. I usually add a lots of fats to uh, my meals to add in those extra calories and those extra fats. Um, my protein is pretty limited. I usually stay pretty low on my protein and my carbs so it just helps your body stay in ketosis so that's what I'm going to do today I'm just going to make some water and finish um, working on the computer I just got up to do a little bit around the house because like I said earlier I can't stay in one spot too long I've got to get up and do stuff because I don't like staying stationary too long but um, I will probably just do a little cleaning around the house 
Um, yeah, I think I'll just do a little bit like sweeping, wiping down the counters and everything. Just normal stuff that I do every day. Um, because I'm going to do another cleaning video tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, and I will get that up for you guys this week. Um, but yeah, that's what I would recommend doing um, if you are doing an OMAD. Just start it off slow, work your way up, and don't go too fast. Always start keto before you introduce intermittent fasting into your diet, your lifestyle. So that way it doesn't overwhelm your body. So do that for about a month, two months before you introduce intermittent fasting to your lifestyle. And then start working your way up to OMAD. Um, when I do um, uh, when I do OMAD, I do drink ketones. I just have not had any today. Um, I will probably have some later. You know what? Matter of fact, I think I will go ahead and make some now. I think I have some key lime caffeine free left, so I think I might make that and just sip on that for a while. Um, because. The uh, Privet Ketones are great for intermittent fasting. They don't have a lot of calories or anything like that. So, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Normally, when I do OMAD, I will either have coffee, tea, or ketones. I do drink ketones every single day. With the exception of a few days out of the month. Um, but yeah... I think I'm just going to do that, do a little more work on the computer, try to figure out that editing software because it's driving me crazy. Um, I've got a few dishes to do and that's about it and I will see you guys in just a bit. Okay guys, I'm just going to turn down this um, pork tenderloin to low and I'm going to let this cook for about an hour. And then I'm just going to heat up some leftover Brussels sprouts and some leftover greens. For me, I'm going to make mashed potatoes for my husband and my daughter. But I'm just going to end the video here because my daughter has some homework she needs me to help her with. So I'm just going to go do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.